Good. So, the broadcast is live. Hi, everyone. Hi. Good evening. Good morning. Good night, India. Good evening, Romania. Good morning, uh, United States. How are you? Good. So, IntelliJ productivity tips is the topic for today. How the heck can some can some people write that fast? Before I show you the tricks that I prepared for you today, um, I want to explain, first of all, introduce briefly and, me, and then explain why I consider this to be important. Let me, let me explain. So, my name is Victor Enta, <laughs> I'm a general champion, and I've, I'm doing trainings right now. After 17 years of coding Java, now I'm doing trainings um, throughout companies, taking ideas from one company, bringing them to other companies, basically sharing me. I'm a mediator. This is how I like to think about this role of I have. I'm a mediator of good practices between different companies. So I get to learn a lot of stuff every day. My typical, my, my usual topics are spring hybrid, but don't think I'm teaching basics. So no, no, I'm taking best practices, pitfalls, and advanced use cases, right? Architecture, demo driven design, clean code, unit testing. That's what I do basically. I just finished a training about architecture today, 10 minutes ago. Java performance, reactive and secure coding. This is this is the stuff that I teach in different companies, right? Besides that, I have a community that I'm really oops, that I'm that I'm really proud of. I have a, a community that I'm really proud of, which has grown enormously. It is called Bucharest Software Craftsmanship Community. It's why, becoming one of the biggest community in the world uh, on this topic of software craftsmanship. So do join if you want to hear stuff about clean code, refactoring, simple design. As an example. Next week, remote mob programming. So be there. It's all free. Just join and it's all in English. Talk discussions about refactoring, about stuff like this. Just let me arrange these windows a bit. All right. So this is what I do. And I usually go to companies to teach their groups, their teams. But I also have master classes that you can join and some videos, courses available on Teachable. But uh, that's for money. The free stuff is the community and the YouTube channel I have. So go ahead, engage me. It's, I try to get in contact with people every month to have to find it, to your opinion to discuss. So that's me. Now, I want you to, to turn back time to the day that you took the driver license, if you have one. I want you to turn back time and to remember how it felt the first time you, did, you, you drove a car. Mm -hmm. Your first day driving, right? Without the instructor next to you after you took the license. Best practices, have two uh, t-shirts with you and a pair of pants, spare pants, brown pants. Excellent. Good. <laughs> so then you get on the road. The first thing you have to do, oh my God, seatbelt. <gasps> and then the mirrors. You have to arrange the mirrors. I'm not sure if you remember these from your, your student when you were learning to drive. And then the signal. Tick, 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 tick. And then again, the mirror. But when exactly when you're trying to get from the parking lot, bang, yeah, you make, you, and then the handbrake is still on. Hmm? Of course, I'm assuming you, you learned to drive and you are driving a car that has this thing. You know, if you remember, this is anyway. So then you <laughs> entered the traffic and you had to turn left. Remember that first time you had to turn left? Or right if you're in the UK? The first time you had to turn left in a big intersection. Terrible moment. There's so many stimulus, so many things to look after. Oh my God, you have to put the semicolon. Oh my God, you have to put the tab. Oh my God, you have to put the braces. Oh my God, you have to, you have to, you have to edit, edit, edit. Right? And then uh, because it's COVID right from the front, there's an ambulance coming. <laughs> and you're just trying to put the left for Christ's sake. Okay? And exactly in that moment, in that moment in the intersection, your girlfriend starts the radio. Some people will ask, why did you take the girlfriend on your first ride? The point is, it's too much, too many stimuluses, too many, too many signals. You can't handle that. And you may, you, may, you explode. Hmm? This is you. This is me. <laughs> Almost happened to me, something like that. All right. Ten years later, ten years later, how did it feel? Ah, you are having a lovely conversation with your loved ones while driving a car. No, no more concerns. I mean, who the heck looks here anymore? Right? Or you know where the day you, you've learned the car, you've learned how to drive, right? You've learned where the danger is, you've learned what you look after, you learn that this guy can suddenly go left on you. You learn what you look after in traffic because you learned, first of all, your machine. Abraham Lincoln. If I had six hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend the first four hours sharpening the axe. 
Now, first for craftsmanship is all about this also. It's about make, becoming better. Pro, uh, better and better with the tools that you are using. <laughs> and then, I wonder, is this a computer science talk? Now, why do I want you to master your IDE? For two main reasons. First of all, the, the reason related to design, to, to, to comfort, basically. If you learn the tricks that I showed today, and I would advise you to repeat this, this moves yourself on the code, on the same code or on your code, trying to do every single thing I show you, 10 times each, and then it gets into your blood. So and you will then be able to concentrate on the design, on the big picture, not on the details. Hmm? You will get to focus on what matters. All right? And then, very important, you won't be afraid to throw away the, 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 the tentative refactorings, the, the tentative ideas that you try to put in code. So you won't be ever afraid to undo the code, which is amazing, because no one gets the design right the first time they write it. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are talking about becoming faster. No? It's not about finishing your work faster. No. It's about making the code better. It's about seeing the design and other details. Right? So I want to, to make it very, very clear. What am, I, what am I after? I don't want you to become faster and impress your girlfriend. It's, it's your call. <laughs> but I want you to become faster because I want you to play more, to experiment, and to have courage and code, and to see the point. All right. So I will directly enter into uh, what we call uh, Zen mode. Uh, it's somewhere here. I wanted to show that. So uh, there, there's the agenda in the left side here. I will enter this, this mode right now. There we go. But for some stupid reason, this Windows doesn't help me today. <laughs> My dear Windows, why do you keep this open? Please excuse the Windows. <laughs> oh, anyway. Good. Now, let's see what I want to show you. So first of all, um, um, uh, auto-completion. Something that we use every single day. Right? Um, I will basically come back to here and ah, that's better. Good. And this. Now, uh, also, uh, let me just check one thing. Just a second. Uh, don't you see the suggestions? No. Something is wrong. You know why? Because I want you to see the keys I'm pressing. One second. They are not visible for some reason. Anyway, the keys are here, but please excuse me. I, I first listed the uh, Windows keys. Uh, so for some of them, we also have the Mac OS keys. So, auto completion, start with the beginning. First of all, to explore what happens when you want to access the field of a person. So, if you have person, no, person, dot. And I have to admit, I've been, I have been coding 13 years in. Um, I, in Eclipse, and in Eclipse, I would start get first name. No, never do that. If you want the first name, type what you want. First name, this contains right first name, and then and then if I got if I have an expression that uh, evaluates to a string, as I have right now, right? If I if I have an expression that that, that evaluates to a string, I can do alt enter enter, and I get a variable defined with a reasonable name and the semicolon placed there. That's why I almost never start again string name because you know many people block when they start declaring a variable. Uh, what should I call the variable? Oh, God. what was I trying to do? Get the first name. Oh God! No, you start with writing person dot first name and then alt enter enter generate the variable with a reasonable name. Okay, and you're done. No more semicolon, no more equal, no more spaces. It's all automatic, automatically formatted, all right? So that's it, OK? Then, it's even more than that. If you have a more elaborate, if you have a large object with many fields, you, when you type first, or you, for example, if you type name, there will be multiple names. Which one do you, do, you, do you need? Now, one of the first things we learn in any IDE, we, we start our professional career, is that you can find things by typing the first characters of the thing that you're looking for. So in my example, IntelliJ Play, notice what, what turned yellow, right? IntelliJ Play, all right? So just by, by the first let letters of the words. So then, first name. Look carefully what, what, when, what turns blue, right? First name, all right. And then I'll enter, enter, and I have a, I have a, I have a variable. So first letters are enough or get first name, or if I want to call the setter, okay, person dot set first name. Now, with years, that will become habit to always look out things by the first letters of their names, of their parts, okay? So that's what I meant by this thing. 
So I wanted to keep this in front of you so that you can trace what you do. And then you can scroll the video to see where you want to go. All right. Then it turns out that they made it even easier. You just have to type P dot first name. When I first saw this, I was like, what the hell? Really? How the heck that could, have, that could work? They auto-complete over the dot. This is how I call it, over dot completion. I talked to people from JetBrains and... Um, <laughs> I should explain first. Uh, I'm showing features that are completely part of the IntelliJ community. I'm not showing any feature which is on paid version. All right, everything here is completely free. So it's not a pitch. I talked to people from JetBrains and they admitted that the developers working with IntelliJ, they said, there is no one who knows all the features of IntelliJ. No one knows everything. <laughs> so I'm showing the stuff that I think works and that I use in my trainings and my presentations, right? Okay. So person gets first name. Again, person, uh, person dot uh, get uh, last name or just last name and you're done. This also works with statics. System dot current time minutes. Current time minutes. Very good. So static method calls or things over a dot, over a dot completion. This is how I call it. All right. Now, to get to the current time minutes is actually easier. All right. Easier. Why? Current time minutes. Now, current time minutes, but where is the system? You don't have to put it. Hi from Mexico. Control space twice, control command space twice will generate the will, will, will find the method that you were looking after. Current time minutes. Alt enter enter made the um, um, the variable or whatever. Right? Good. So another example, you want to go for assert equals. Assert equals. Control space twice. And it suggests it's not enough, you see? E equals done. So in practice, in my experience, three or four chapters are enough to find anything in any project, no matter how big. Maybe five is it's terrible monolith. All right, good. So statics, control space twice, does your stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Um, now, something funny happens. Let's go to a test. Now, this one in particular, I must confess, I did not know. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, I've been talking and presenting for several years already, and uh, I will never forget the day in which one, I got one email one day. Let's make sure. Uh, uh, here. And this guy, Nikolai, said, I work in IntelliJ IDEA team. And I said, oh, what, what's the big deal? We all use IntelliJ. And then I realized he's developing IntelliJ for 15 years. Huh? Ah, what I mean, this guy is one of the main, one of the core developers at JetBrains developing IntelliJ. And he told me what to do, what to show you now. And then look what I answered when, when I got his mail. Oh my God, I reached someone developing idea. I've reached the source. I'm not sure if you saw the movie. You should. It's about developers. Okay. So he's told me, Victor, if you ever want to say assert equals, like we usually say, if you found the method, if you press enter, nothing bad happens. You put the assertions here. And of course, it's from assertions, right? You, you might, might not want to do as imports, like you have to do then alt enter and and import the assertions uh, statically. That is clutter over here, you see? That is clutter, and many people don't like it. And he told me, Peter, whenever you do that, right here in the auto-completion, I was like, what? Here, press Alt, Enter again. I'm like, what? Tell me, who would know that they could press Alt, Enter again in the completion dialog and tell import statically? Really? Huh? Who would know than someone who develops this stuff? <laughs> excellent, 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 good. So, a certicles, interesting. But you see, for this certicle and that autocomplete, autocomplete suggestion, I'll come back to this certicles in later. But I want to follow this so that I can trace the what I was talk, what I talked in the video later. If you watch the recording, excellent. And by the way, big thanks to the organizers for letting this free go to the community the moment it is broadcast. Bravo. Another thing that can happen is very very helpful when you are adjusting code. It might happen that you have this uh, uh, this first name, right? You made it a variable name, but then you want to change not the first name, but the last name. Now, if you press enter right now, something terrible happens. You will have to do delete, 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 delete. You discovered in the meantime that you can do control delete, to delete whole words, okay? To delete whole words. But um, uh, uh, if you want to replace the call to first name with the one with last name, you can, you can just put tab. I just pressed tab. This tab thing, overrode the token with another token. Get last name. Done. 
all right? Very useful for changing surgically one call to another. Let me give another example. Uh, what can I try to do? Yeah, some method, for example, a method that takes a string, uh, that takes a string, I said, string S, and then here, let's suppose we call that method, method of person last name. Now, if you want to change in this call, am I right? Sorry, I have to make it static. Right? If I change in this call from last name to first name, um, can, you see the, can you hear the angels singing? Huh? Can, 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 can you hear them? The peace. No more typing. Tab. Okay? Peace. Harmony. Good. No, and a good question is why does it work? Ah, because it's not a return. Excellent. Yes, we'll be all available. Oh, what the heck? I could uh, I could share the coordinates. Um, I will put the coordinates right here so that they are in plain sight here. Uh, sh that should become visible in a second. Uh, that's it. No, that's the, uh, that's the stuff. Okay. Then what? Well, tab completion. I showed you that. Let's move on. Another thing that happens very often in Java, <laughs> I wonder if any one of you would say, I hear the angels, yes. I wonder if any one of you would uh, say what I expect you to say. You know, Java is old, unfortunately. Like 27, 21, I got it. Happy birthday, Java. It's old. And we have getters. <laughs> getters and setters that pollute the, the language. At this point, someone should say, or oh, use Kotlin. But this is a Java Champions community, a Java Champions conference. I can't say that. Yet, I don't want you ever to use alt insert. I mean, ever. I wanted to show you a faster way than doing alt insert. And then, ah, ah, what the heck? Just type the stuff that you want. Enter. Done. An example. New class. OK? You want to make here um, a field. Um, a private funnel. By the way, what you just saw was a, a uh, live template. I will come back to that. PF, I define PF to be a, my own live custom live template. That allows me to uh, quickly type this, okay? S and P. And then I want to get an setter for S or just a getter, right? So besides the fact that I need, the, I need the, a constructor, right? so, uh, something funny happens. I see red. I see something red. Whenever you see something in colors in IntelliJ, if it's red, yellow, blue, or gray, alt enter will save your day. Okay? So uh, anything you see colorful in IntelliJ, just press alt enter. If you are using other, other editors, some of these features are also available in Eclipse, but I can't, I don't have the time to, to tell you which are and which aren't. So if it's red, alt enter. Okay? Constructor, done. And then you want to getter. God, give me a getter. God, give me the other getter. God, give me hash code equals. Hash code equals both of them, the same exact as you would use uh, the alt insert way. God, give me a two string. Thank you. So, two string, I said. Thank you. Done. All right? So, just type the stuff that you want. Record class could also help. Hey, wait a second. Class? No, no. Wait, wait. Wait. Don't I have you? Convert to record. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen. Bangangnam style. Record. Done. Java 17. Cheers, love, okay? Not this cup for today, there are other talks about Java 17, but uh, IntelliJ, whenever there's any cool feature, you can expect an alt enter, okay? Convert to record, okay? Good, so this is it. This is it with uh, with these features that I showed you until here. Let's come back to the main discussion here in IntelliJ Play. So I showed you boilerplate generation, you just have to say, type the stuff and you just enter, right? Now, one advanced technique here. Um, there could be the case one day that you want to call a function, a function here, time-based. That function over there takes a date as a parameter, a local data. So time-based, you want to have to provide a, a, a local data to it. Now, in the place where you write this line of code, right there, there are, there is this local date time that can, you can pass as an argument. It is obvious that you, can, you might want that. But some people ask, why do I see these as suggestions here? They are confusing, they are too many. So uh, control space uh, gives you all the possible imagining, a lot of suggestions from different places, even plugins can add. So uh, IntelliJ is heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's heavy. It's worth the pain, trust me. Now, by memory, what the heck. Uh, here, instead of just typing control space, you can press control shift space. 
what the, what the heck is the desk, does that do? Control C space or this Mac, it gets you uh, uh, suggestions which match the type expected of the cursor. Now is a suggestion. A local daytime over. Now status can resolve to a local daytime. Not everything. Hmm? Now, now if you keep pressing it once more, something insane will happen. IntelliJ will will suggest you even traversals of chains that get to something in that context, it gets to something which resolves to a local data which is compatible to what you need at the cursor level. So it turns out that there is a person create create time inside. It will only traverse one dot. Useful when you write mappers to convert from one structure to another. Control shift space. Some people tell me they only use control shift space for many years already. Because it's, it's, it, it restricts the suggestions to what you, uh, you might put in that place. All right? So these are these two things. Good. Now, simple stuff, but very powerful stuff. Uh, um, uh, live templates. Live templates. Uh, this is useful if you have to repeat similar things. A good example in Java is the main function, all right? The main function. Or if you think I'm too Java specific, Spring Boot. I just type the stuff, enter, and it, it goes, it appears in the screen. Now, this thing is so cool that you want to extend, all right? And the uh, uh, ones that all of us should know, S out, you just uh, expand. It expands to this, right? There are a huge amount of, of live templates. But you can define our own. Let's try that. I showed you PF, which is my custom one, which expands to private funnel. But let's define together one that you will typically write. Now, log debug today, thanks to the widespread use of, 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 of Spring Boot. Whenever you see log debug, you expect log to be a logger from, from SLF for J. Now, you know, so often it happens that you forget to put the log in there. I wrote a plugin. <laughs> I wrote a plugin since December. I started developing my own plugin, which generates the credit you expect to see. Private static final logger log equals logger logger la 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 la. Okay, this thing over here that you don't need my plugin for that. And you know what? I want to show you one more trick. Here, it suggests don't you want to put SLF for J instead? Click, done. <gasps> Lombok. <laughs> <laughs> no, this line over here. Perhaps you don't. Perhaps you don't want Lombok. Perhaps you just want that line. Also, you, oh, uh, you, you could save this. Look, take this line of code and you say save as live template am i right live okay there, there it was live template and I, sh I save this line immediately from your code into the live template okay and then you say log s from from slf4j and you say here add add a uh, slf slf4j logger and then you have to get the current class in here right last name pay attention this is super powerful. This is a variable, edit variables, bank. Class name resolves to the class name. Skip if defined because I don't want to ask what I, I know. It's always a current class. So what do I, ah, I already had it defined. I'm so sorry. Let me define it to prove that it works. Logs to, oh, here we go. Logs to enter. The current class is there. All right, done. So live template div, uh, 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 created by me. Now, all of, every project has its own challenges. Some projects keep repeating the same kind of idiomatic, idiotic code. And then if you have such code, you can make a live template from it. Very cool. All right. And you, can, you should explore all these features if you want to know more. Or look at all the checkbooks. It's very powerful. Stuff. Now, this is live templates and custom uh, uh, templates. Good. Now, let me show you this one. This is insane. It turns out that very often, for example, you want to print the person first name. Now, person first name, you want to put this to the console. The, the train of thoughts of humans is like this. I first get the stuff and then I want to do something with it. I want to print it. Now, as at the end, if I enter, something insane happens. This is called uh, postfix expansion. You can do very cool stuff with it. Right? If it's different than that, then 
And by my personal favors, on some array, on, on some array, do a four. How many times it, it happened that you have to traverse some path to get somewhere, I don't know, you get some list and then four. You just do four and in, in our case, numbers dot four, enter. Bang! Bang! Yeah! <laughs> Right? In a, in a, ready for you, with a reasonable name for the variable, no more figuring out what should I name the variable, automatically generated a, a, a good results for you. All right, dot four, my personal favorite. And you know how, uh, actually, let, let's, let's, let's develop one such custom life template ourselves, really advanced stuff. Let me first check, I don't have it yet. I don't have it. I want to, when I say dot log, I want this to expand to log dot debug. Let's see if we can do that. Let's see. So, editor. The ones that I showed you previously were live templates. And if you are brave enough to scroll through here, there are hundreds. Now, the other one that I'm showing you here is postfix. Let's search. Postfix post -fix completion. Okay. And in Java, I will define one more. Java. Right? And I will say the key is log. Dot log. Since the dark ages, applicable. Anything that returns non-void, apply to the if I'm concatenating two strings, we'll take the whole stuff, and I will say log.debug, and then, as instructed above, I will use here expression, right? And done. Let's see if it works. Dot log, enter, done. And then, as I said, alt enter, add Lombok. <laughs> anyway, good. You get the point. All right, all right. That's, that, was, that was a bit complicated to show. That's it. Oh, 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 and one that I really love, I promise to come back. That is fantastic. How do you think, my friend? How do you think? How do you normally think? You say actual, get to the value, dot assert that. Now, if you never heard about assert J, I have a bad news for you. You should never use the assertions from Jupiter the remaining of your life. Use the one from assert J. Rocks, really. Assert that is equal to Expect it. All right. Good. Hey, I just pressed something strange. I said, I said expected. And then with one single keystroke, I put also the, the, the semicolon. I press control shift enter by reflex. I didn't want to do that. This is the next feature to show you. I was there trying to bang my, the semicolon wasn't there. Control shift enter completes the current statement. It's brilliant. Hmm. Then assert that should be imported statically. Alt enter. Or you could use my plugin. I have a quick way to implement these common use things. Right? <laughs> Commercials. No, I'm just playing. It's a 0, .0 0.0.15. It's a super, super silly plugin. But I'm trying to make presentations more time efficient, basically. That's the purpose. Hmm. OK. So. Assert that very cool way of writing your assertion. So let me do that again. Actual, actual dot assert that is equal to expected. Control shift enter and import statics. Done. Okay. So complete current statement. You all saw me doing it once. You saw me finishing a method invocation, right? But this can get much heavier than this. You can do magic things like the following. If args is different than null. Notice the missing space, the fact that I didn't finish the null word. And right now, right now, drums. Control, shift, enter. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Once more. I was here. The spaces were bad. The formatting was shitty. The word didn't finish. Huh? I was just typing. Control shift enter finish the if put me in the right prop in the right place to with uh, with the cursor right the same with four of course okay numbers actually if I do live uh, okay if oh oh and when you define a new class class x control shift enter when you define a method hmm? uh, void f parenthesis control shift enter it finishes it, it it follows the idea until the syntax is valid. Very powerful stuff, but that, that's not all. Nikolai, remember Nikolai? Told me also something that I, it was mind blowing for me. Back then I was like, what? In the meantime, I read how this is implemented in the IntelliJ code. It's insane, it's insane. Look, 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 this is absolutely mind blowing. Person, we might find out that this phone is nullable. 
in the database, can be absent. And we might want to get this idea that the domain objects, by the way, this is a good design idea. The domain entities that you rely on logic should return null, uh, should return optionally or whatever instead of, 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 uh, of a null. So the very getter of the phone should return optional. How do you do that? Well, you could st start with doing optional. Right now, control shift center. What, what the heck will happen? Optional is a something that needs a type. And then phone uh, went red. Sh uh, shift enter gets you to the next problem. Alt enter, enter, finishes the, the stuff. This is one way to fix it. I will repeat that. I just press optional until the IntelliJ figures what I want. Control shift enter to finish the syntax. Shift enter gets to the next error. Alt enter, enter, finishes the problem. One way. The other way to fix it is to start from within. So instead of returning the phone, I will return uh, off nullable. If you type off n, that's a static function, control space twice. And now the mind blowing thing, really the mind blowing thing. Control shift enter right now wraps the token that comes after the phone wraps in a method call. This is insane. This is insane. How many times it happened this? How many times it happened that you wanted to wrap something with another call? You just put your cursor before. You call the method. In my case, control space size because it's static. And control shift enter finishes the stuff. Since it's red, I remember the poem. <laughs> I'll enter again. Guess what? Convert the return type. Done. Yes, I know that should work. No, that kind of problem that uh, they stop working just before the presentation, it's, it happened. Uh, the, the, uh, I'm really sure the templates, the keys are not shown, but are here, everything that I showed. Okay, so we can look after. And, uh, so, wrap method calls around something existing, mind blowing in my opinion. I was like, what the heck is that? All right. Now, an easy one, but one that will impress the ones that are looking at you. This, when I'm in my trainings, I go, whoa, that. Uh, those who didn't know this. Folks, do you see this token repeats on three lines? Repeated code. Hmm? Who has that? <laughs> no. So you want to edit all lines together. The challenge here is to convert from a constant to an enum. To an enum. So I will start, start by duplicating these three lines. All right. And then what? And then that I will select the token which appears on all the lines and I will press Alt J. Alt J, Alt J, here. I'm trying somewhat sequentially to take them, right? Alt J. So if you look at the video, it's always in the right order. And then I have three cursors. Oh my God. Oh my God, I deserve a raise. <laughs> I am three times more productive. And you know what? The, the magic thing, let me finish this. this. The magic thing, you can go at the end. The end works. And you can select stuff. And you can say, okay, and then put a comma. And then when you're done, escape, and then you say enum, uh, movie type, brace, done. It's a water formatting, and that's it. Okay, very useful in SQL, uh, CSS, JavaScript, wherever we don't have that much structured language. But everywhere is cool. And it's actually very powerful. You can select only some of them. Let me try to demonstrate that's a bit tricky. For example, aljj it gives you, but you might want to skip this, the second occurrence. So you skip the second occurrence by pressing F3. Uh, you will explore. It's not that, in, that incredibly interesting. However, there are other ways to create multiple cursors by just pressing down Alt and dragging your mouse. You have more, many cursors, but on the same column, you see? It, in my opinion, it is not as powerful as Alt-J because Alt-J doesn't, doesn't want you to have a column-like structure, right? Or if you are like very careful, you can just Alt Shift and then you click in multiple places, right? But yeah, I am mostly using Alt J. It's faster, the fastest, really, by, by far. Okay, okay. Or Command G. Please uh, excuse me not to have the presentation assistant. Now, next feature, which is also available in Eclipse. In my IntelliJ over here, I could have this, and I want to wrap it in an if. Done. Okay? Surround with. Surround with. Uh, I will use it in practice to wrap it if or with tries. It can do much more than that, but me, this is why I use it. For if and tries. 
Okay, okay, okay. Good, good. Not such a big deal, really. Sound with. Still, yes. Another thing, very cool, very cool in practice, very, very fun. Um, imagine, let's go to the, to the movie. Eh, am I all good with this? Nah. Let's show to do this. Think about it. Mm -hmm. Look, I want to put all the numbers between quotes. I will first do this. Sorry, let me demonstrate this, the feature first, the, easy, the, the easiest way I can. If you have something, right, like something, if you select any kind of text and you press double quotes, it will put the matching br uh, double quotes in, in, in both places. Folks, all the, um, oh, it's Control G, not Command G. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, look here. I'm not sure where you are here. Yeah. Good. So here, if you just select some text, you can put this, this. I just, I'm just pressing one single key, nothing magic. All the stuff that I, I should, you see over here can cause the matching parentheses to uh, to be placed automatically. For you just press the open one, all right? And now let me uh, do some hardcore stuff here. Comma. How cool is that? Combining all the features. And now I have a list of strings. Okay, 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 okay. So embrace the stuff that you are building. Oh, of course. And if you have some code, you can put brace and there, there we go. It's, in a, it's embracing something, right? Good. Now, also very useful in legacy code. Uh, in legacy code, sometimes we get, many times, we get lost. Hmm? I don't know where we are, what we are doing. And in a large function, you might not know where you are, but you might want to take this block out. How do you do that? Whenever you press the, whenever you, wherever you are with the cursor, if you start pressing, this, you will start expanding the selection to sync tax block larger and larger and larger. Whoa, took the if, took the outer if, took the whole method, body, took the whole, uh, took, took the class for Christ's sake. And if you, can, if you want to contract it back, it, it would shift press also. It, it, it clusters back. Why is it super useful? Because many times in, in, in such, in such a, a legacy code bases, you have functions over there. And these functions, you, you large functions like this. And by the way, you know what this is? This is my plugin. Suggesting that this block of code is only returning one value so that could be extracted. But now, how do you extract those? You click here and you increase selection. Increase, 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 increase. Take the four, take this out. Method. You don't need to carefully put the mouse and drag and then the hand starts to shake and no, no, no. All right. So also works in, a, in, a, in JavaScript for Christ's sake, HTML, CSS, anything that has a syntax. Hmm? It's actually so trivial to implement if you, if, you, if, you, if you look in the code, it's super easy to implement this one. Good, but super useful, good. Now, the next one, I showed you defining variable for expression, right? Uh, but also alt enter, uh, quick fix is used in infinite number of occasions. For example, suppose you want to add one more parameter to this method to pass the, uh, the array. You just type the stuff that you need. Now, this is a core technique, my friends, a core technique. If you watch a senior code, this is what you'll see. You will see him or someone with a lot of experience with doing refactoring, safe refactoring. You will see them having the code compiling and then doing a single little breaking change that breaks the compilation, that offends IntelliJ because they know that they can press Alt Enter. Done. 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 And the other way works also. If this is no longer needed or the S is no longer needed because you didn't ever use it, Alt Enter, save it. Move. And remove this from everywhere. So many things that in an Eclipse, for example, you do by changing the signature, and I'm preparing a talk for this year, another talk, about refactoring with IntelliJ. You should join that one. I like it. Follow me on Twitter. I'm announcing the talks that I, that I do usually. Now, this stuff over here, save the delete, delete it from everywhere. Right? No matter who, who called, just change it. So I tend to all the time right? for defining a new, a new, a new uh, for adding a parameter I showed you. Or perhaps on the person, that's really good. I do it all the time, especially when test driving, when TDD person dot some new method that I want to, to have there that takes the list of numbers as an argument. Hmm? Right now, IntelliJ is offended. It says, what's that method? Alt enter. Uh -huh. 
Make the method. What are you asking? Right? You just have to tell IntelliJ what to do. That's the point of this presentation. I want you to stop doing the dirty work, all right? Focus on the big picture. Let the let your car shift gears. Don't <laughs> shift gears if you right? all right, all right. So good. You have a Ferrari under you, right? Whew. Okay, define a new type or a new method. I understand that. Delete that code or parameter and many others, many, huge. Actually, uh, someone from JetBrains told me that they have a sort of a unit test that checks that everywhere you click in the code, there is some suggestion popping at you with very few exceptions, very few exceptions. They have, they're, they're testing that you are suggested something every time. <laughs> Let me, numbers. Let me do a stupid example. Numbers dot uh, uh, four, and then uh, sum plus equal number. Hmm? And then you wonder what is this sum? It's a local variable, of course. Okay, so I need to define int sum equals zero. Oh, I press Control Shift uh, Enter by reflex to format the line. <laughs> okay, and then you print um, sum dot log. Because it's an integer, but s out should work. Now, this, if you add enter on the four, oh my God. Huh? Let's see, do we see anything useful? Mm -hmm. Numbers, numbers. I don't. Why don't I see anything? I didn't ah, let's see. I'm curious what happens. Huh? Ha! Failed me. Let's try another example. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see, let's see. Uh, so the person, the person, the person, person. What does, what does a person have? Get. First name, last name, create name doesn't help me. What about a new customer? Customer. Alt enter enter makes the customer, remember? Customer. Customer dot what do I have inside? Rentals. Perfect. And suppose you are traversing a list of rentals. Okay. Four. And it takes take from each rental. Rental dot add. Uh, sorry. Get uh, base rented. All right. And you put this into a collection. So we define here a list of, pay attention, nothing is accidental, integer uh, list equals new, guess what? The array list, of course. Control shift enter finishes the statement. And then here, list dot add. And now control shift enter, we wrap the next section in the add. And at the end, s out, list dot s out. Now, this baby over here can be converted into AI. Where are you? I'm missing something here. Something. Oh, 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 oh. Here it is. It was in a different class. I can replace this baby with a stream. Oh, my God. Oh, my freaking God. I personally know the guy who implemented this, this thing. Hmm? And if you don't, uh, if you're not big, of, you are not uh, uh, a fan of, 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 of streaming, if you want to play an old loop, because, yeah, you're tired one day. But mind that no one sees you. Look around. If no one sees you, convert a four into a, a stream into a four to I better understand it. <laughs> Who does that? Shh. Not in public. Not in public. No. Anyway, good, good, good. So that proved basically some alt enter, some more alt enter. All right. Now, now the the boring part. Call hierarchy. Now, very always when you join some legacy code. There is this problem of uh, understanding what calls some functions even deeper. And so one of the first things I ever learned in Eclipse 10 years ago, 12 years ago, was to click here and to say, I'm not sure if I can get that through menus. I'm not, I don't know how to get that there to menus. Navigate call hierarchy. Who uses menus? Where are you? What implementation? Where are you? I don't know how to get there, with, but I know how to press the keys. Control Alt H. It's in here. Okay. It shows who calls even deeper. It calls AA, which calls this, which calls this. So you can traverse the callers. That's must have if you're to understand some code. Hmm? All right. So call hierarchy. That's super interesting for. Okay. Another thing that happens every time when you just edit some code, but you don't know what exactly you did last time. Remember? I mean, you edit some code here, and then you read uh, enormous code all other where, and then you want to get back to the last edit place. What, you, what I used to do, Control Z, Control Shift Z, just to, no. Actually, there is this Control Shift backspace. It gets you to the last edit place. Could be useful. 
bookmarks. That's what I have over here, bookmarks. And actually, you can bookmark any line. You have this menu over here. It really helps if you try to understand code. You can bookmark and you can put names for these bookmarks. F11, and you can set names, your name. This is the that horror method I saw before lunch. Hmm? Bookmarks, right? OK, OK. Now, next occurrence is boring. Like definition, this one I discovered recently. This is gold, pure gold, pure gold. Pay attention. You want to give to some uh, to some method, um, um, to some to, to, to this method over here. You want to give to that method a list. So it turns out that customer dot rental is a list. I put one argument to a method which is not known to until they guess what. It was the, the first suggestion. I'll enter. Made it here. All right. All right. And then. Uh, you know what can happen bad because this is Java because this is Java someone someone oh my god who would do that rentals dot clear I see you doing this I will come visit you hello what did you do did you remove the elements from the collections I gave you as a parameter oh my god we need to talk it's very bad but who knows what happens when you call a method? A method that seems so innocent at the beginning might do something. So it's a good practice that when you send this list to this uh, method that you don't know, or if you, re especially if you return something from rentals here to wrap it with a modifiable list like this. But many people don't know what this is. So you could control click the method, see the code, but that would break your flow. Then you will have. 173 tabs open, huh? not to mention memory. So then control shift I, control shift I, or this in, in Mac, that um, shows you a snippet of the code that you are calling. Brilliant, brilliant. You don't need to break a flow to jump from tab to tab. It, it lets you focus on the stuff that you're doing, right? So you are doing some stuff. Uh, by the way, this changed in Java 17. This is not how it works in Java 8. Anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Quick definition. It works also for your functions, of course. Oh, so you said you were innocent, huh? <laughs> All right. Good. Show parameters. Gold in a, in a legacy code base. Let me show you. Let's go to legacy code. Uh, and you call some function with seven parameters, <laughs> like usual. And you wonder what this result stands for. Well, what does L stand for? Control P. <laughs> it doesn't help you much here because it's still L. But this L is actually the length of uh, the length of of the latitude. That the latitude. Thank you. So if L is here, not here, Control P. Latitude done. Okay. And if you move your cursor, it will bold. This is also in Eclipse, but I used to, uh, anyway. Who uses Eclipse, huh? uh, Very good, Thomas. Do I use editor tabs? I do because it helps people track better the code. I will get to that in a second. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, another thing that is very helpful in languages which are dynamically, uh, you might wonder, what is the type of this? Hmm? I don't know what, uh, imagine you don't see this, or imagine you're in Kotlin, or in JavaScript, or in TypeScript, or some language that, or PHP. Doesn't, you don't know what this, <laughs> did I say PHP? Control Shift P. Control Shift P uh, tells you the current type, uh, the, uh, the cursor right now. That could come handy if you have like a large expression and IntelliJ that didn't hint at you about what this particular thing uh, is. Let me get another example. I'm not pleased with this. What is this rental? If you go on this, control shift P, the type of this expression is list of rental. The type of this map until here, very useful in streams. Although IntelliJ tries to help you by putting a suggestion that, that, that in, in line type, that uh, here, stream, this thing. But suppose you, some code you doesn't have, uh, you just select the expression up to here and you, you ask IntelliJ, what type, has, what type does this have? Stream of integers, all right? So very cool stuff for um, checking the type of different expressions. Oh, a good one. 
<laughs> I'm very fast, but you know what the good news is? You can replay the video at 75% uh, speed in YouTube. Thank you. Okay. How do we switch between uh, editor tab, control tab? And you keep, keep it pressed. But some people will tell you, don't do that. Press control E and then type what you want. Boom. In statistics, in my statistics, if I press control E in maximum three characters, I find the, fi the file that I want, uh, local data. And it displays the files that I've recently been to, not all the files. Mm -hmm. So control tab gets you to the last place you've been, the last file you've seen, but control E gets you access to the file that you visited today, and you just can type the names, require args, done. If you want to restrict the search only to the files that you've edited, you press Control E once more. Very cool stuff. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Now, did it ever happen to you that you took the code from here, Control X? And then someone came into your room and asked you to, to take out the garbage to prepare this, the kids dinner, whatever, lunch. And then you came back and you said, and you continue working without knowing, oh my God, I had something in my clipboard. Hmm? What can I do? Control Shift V gets access to everything you've copied today. Everything you've copied today uh, in IntelliJ are here, right? just paste. Hmm? So it, okay, it enables you to do this, Control X this, Control X this, and then paste them in the, in the other order, right? Insane. But don't think in, Windows doesn't remember your clipboard. So, anyway. Okay, clipboard history. Thank you. Good. Now, uh, you mentioned, do I want to see the tabs? It depends. If I want to explain a concept and people want to, if I need to tell someone something, then uh, I need tabs to orient. If not, I can go like this. It's called Zen mode or destruction free, right? And then what you do to get the project view, you press Alt-1. Now, folks, let me show you something. Let me press project several times in a row. I'm curious, anything happens? No. Ah, damn it. Um, it happens that if you press something many times, at some point, some plugin will tell you, why are you pressing this manually? Let me see if it works. I think it works today. Anyway. Uh, it turns out that project has a shortcut. All the main tabs uh, uh, run, debug, project. There are eight or nine to keep to remember, right? Maybe it's too much. I don't know. You decide. But if you are able to remember the, the, these views, you can then enter destruction free, and you don't need tabs. But then you, you ask, how do you move from one tab to another? Control tab. Or control E. And you say, I want to go to the pump. Done. Now, uh, I'm not sure, maybe I'm old. I never got used to this style of working, honestly. So I will still work with this message. Uh, you're, it's your call, I don't, no, I don't. Okay. Good, this is obvious comparison for recent location. That's very cool. After six hours of work, of researching, yeah, key promoter, that's what I was looking for, exactly. Key promoter X, you should install right now this plugin, right? This will uh, tell you the shortcuts that you should use instead of pressing the buttons. Or if, God forbid, God forbid, one day you do this. Take with your mouse code, right click, refactor, extract method. If I see you doing that, oh my God, that's so shameful. <laughs> what do I mean? Sorry for being rude on this one. But I am curious. I'm just curious. How many times did I did I press extract X? Come on, where are you? Brass extract. Extract, extract. Ah, where are you? Mm. There was something like 30,000 30, times I've pressed extract method in the past year or rename 5,000 times, but ah, I've just reinstalled IntelliJ. Okay, that's it. it um, don't. If, if, if that plugin, uh, if, if this plugin over here, Key Promoter X, sees you doing right click, refactor, uh, extract method, it will tell you, Victor, what, why are you doing that? There is a shortcut for that. It will tell it to you. It will teach you shortcuts. All right. That's Key Promoter. It's a must have. All right. Good. That's not very important, really. Recent locations. That's good. I was, I was trying to say, what if after three hours of looking in code, you want to see, you don't remember where you saw something. 
That's the reason for recent locations. Control Shift E, I pressed in, in Windows. Uh, that shows you a snippet of what you saw in different parts of the, the different files you've been to. It could help you. It could help you locate at least the file where you should search something. All right. Okay. I showed you to convert some strings to four with Alt Enter. I think that is obvious, but let's write it. Numbers. Oh, and please stop writing stream. You just type the stuff that you need for six months ago. You don't need the autocomplete over stream. Map. <laughs> and then uh, a very intelligent computation. And then I want to make a list. Okay. Correct list. CTL or to list in the more recent versions, right? Or CTS to set. Should know this. Hmm? Done. Alt enter, enter. Oops. Alt enter. Enter. Import. Done. This is a set. Thank you. Perfect. So CTL, CF, stuff like that. Skip stream. And that is a bit out of scope for today. Too much. Okay. Hundreds. Inspections. Hundreds of inspections. Okay. Now, I started developing in December this plugin because I wanted also to add some more refactoring of options to Intelligent. And I've developed one in a month. I'll be honest with you. After one month of developing, I've discovered that IntelliJ actually had inspections for everything, almost everything I was trying to do. So it was a moment of panic when I deleted half of my plugin, when I found, uh, and by the way, this is my plugin, when I found that um, when I expanded the inspections in Java, this is probably the best part of IntelliJ, to be honest has many good things, but I see developers learning Java by the inspections that IntelliJ tells them and the Sonar Lint feedback, Sonar Cube feedback in their, in their editor. Right? So you should have installed this plugin also, Sonar Lint to, to teach you best practices. Hmm? And then, and then, and then what? And then I discovered this magical, enormously, this is insane what's here. I mean, someone really, really didn't have anything else to do. I mean, what? Everything is here. And I took the time one day to go through this. I learned ideas. I learned new things myself. And of course, I've created my own profile, aggressive refactoring. That if you want to go into some bad code or so to some coding kata to unleash hell, download this stuff from here. It's, those, those inspection profiles, actually, it turns out you can import them. Import the profile that I have here on this on this on this location. It's, uh, ha and have fun, and then, and activate this on your production code just for fun and unleash hell and just follow what what goes yellow or. Huh? <laughs> All right. Now one other thing that is really really cool. I found it recently uh, that you, if you have some inspection, so, m some people like to put final on everything they ever write. Other people's other people use Kotlin. <laughs> now, if, uh, in my personal humble opinion, that is, <laughs> thank you. What's that? Uh, that's the Git repository. Thank you. If, if, uh, in my humble opinion, that final is cluttering the code, but still, no. And there is an inspection looking for such final words and asking you, do you want to re to, re to, re to remove that? You can run this inspection on all the files. But some actually you can run the expression on the project. Bang. And then you run it, and then all the inspection solved. <laughs> oh my god. And that just removed the final from here. So if there is an inspection that you that can that can fix one issue in your code base, which appears in many places, and trust me, there are I think all over 1,000 inspections. I didn't count them, but this is insane was there. I told you I I deleted half of my plugin, it was already done. <laughs> Okay, but not all of the plugin. So, not all of the plugin. <laughs> so, what was that? Right? Or this? Who did that? Uh, no, I'm kidding. No, uh, some features that you could implement yourself. It took me what? It took me thirty years to thirty thirty hours, thirty hours, thirty hours of work to come up with something really something useful and get approved by JetBrains. So. Data, don't put data on entities. It's bad. It's error prone. This is my plugin. Replace data with safer parts. This, and exclude the collections to avoid lazy load. And consider removing the setters. 
I implemented this last night and they already approved it. Now, it is a learning curve, but consider, consider contributing the intelligent community. The one that has all the inspections is free, can contribute, it's open source. And I would like to see more people contribute to that. You have, bad, you have good ideas, implement them. Now, another thing, that log I showed you. I'm missing the log, oh, what should I do? Lombok. Require guards, oh, it's, it's a spring service that takes dependencies to the constructor. Why would you do that? Require guards. <laughs> this kind of games you can you can uh, you can play yourself. And I uh, I remember myself writing a code that refactored code by parsing with Java parser Java code base. You don't need to do that. You just can use the uh, the code from and build the plugin. And you know what's the best part? You get to you get to write Kotlin, <laughs> and you can play with, more, with a different language. Right? Okay. Now, am I done? I think so. I think I'm done. So, what do we take from all this? What's the most important things? The first part, auto-completion. That's what you use every single moment. Hmm? Write your own life templates. Define post fixes if, that follow your train of thoughts. All right? Do learn about control shift enter. That's, that's insane. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. To call a method, to wrap a method surrounding some thing that you already have. Multicursor, you, you need to master this, right? You want to, right? like this. Everywhere. Very cool stuff. Very powerful stuff. Also in Visual Studio Code. Right? That's why I say there is no editor on the planet that can match what these guys did. No language, no editor on the planet. Visual Studio is a joke. Visual Studio co Code tries to match, but is no real match. Eclipse is Eclipse. NetBeans, I'm sorry. <laughs> so if you want to challenge me to type or at a typing contest, please go ahead. Now, I will look at the comments. There were insanely many. So let's see. Okay, what do we have here? If you have like IntelliJ, yes, key promoter X, thank you, Thomas. Cheat sheet. I shared the location. It's right here in the at the beginning. This is the Git location where you can find absolutely everything and commit the, uh, the end. Okay. Uh, okay. No more typing. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Uh, well, now I will get. No, I will, yeah, IntelliJ is heavy. You have two or ten fields, and you suggest it's quicker to just type get x to generate. Yeah, alt enter. <laughs> Alan. Alan said, let me quote, copy paste actually. Alan said, you have, uh, oh, it's a bad place to paste stuff. You have 10 fields and it's just quick to just, why do you have 10 fields? Are you sure you want to generate get the synthetics blindly for everyone? This is a good practice, just blindly. I was called for a company to help their uh, employees pass the client interview. There was, there were a, a outsourcing company. So, their employees were failed at the clean code exam because they were blindly generating getters and setters. That is a bad practice. Think, every, 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 every state you expose, especially setter, my God, think, 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 think. Uh, it's to stash the logger with the class you are from. Yes, you're good for stream for each. I also eat your tab, will make it loop. Yes, I know eat your tab. A set for J rocks, I agree. A presentation assistant it wasn't able to do that. Okay, sorry for being in Windows, not on Mac. Uh, control F11, you can tag it. Yes, that book. Control F11. Ah, advanced time. Yeah, you can tag it. You can put some numbers for easier mnemonic. Then they have B. Okay, cool. What else? Switch between the tabs very fast. Haha, <laughs> yes. Okay, get it. All right. Just several uh, 200 comments. Excellent. <sighs> Mario, ah, someone should have asked me about that. What about Mario? <laughs> of course, straight from that race, you should have this. <laughs> I'm kidding. If not this, then of course, Nyan. Nyan, what are you? Nyan. Classic. It's a classic. It's a classic. No, I'm kidding. That's a joke. But I hope you take some of this get to let IntelliJ do your dirty job and try to optimize the way you work. Every keystroke you type, think. Well, do I really have to type that? Hmm? Okay. I think I'm done. If you want to reach me, I have a website, I have a community that I would love you to join. 
And what else? Have fun. La programming is fun. Some, some people, some folks asked, hey, they pay us to write the code. Amazing. I will do it for free. <laughs> so have fun. Have fun. SQL developer. Are you using SQL developer? What's wrong with you? I'm sorry, man. What's wrong with you? Um, I can't prove it there right then. But the reason to get, that's paid features. That's strategy uh, ultimate. It auto completes tables from, it auto completes join conditions. It's insane. It's not today, not me, others, but oh my God. All right. Just gracias. Hasta luego. See you next time. Keep close. Bye. Yes, so the end. See you, folks.